Hello guys, in this episode we are going to talk about mathematical equations. Simulink can solve most of the equations. Um, I will show you the block uh, which can solve the equations. Uh, in this episode we are going to talk about solving high level equations, um, solving non-linear equations and solving multiple variable equations. Um, here, as you can see, we have equation x to the power 2 minus 2x plus 1 equals 0. Uh, we want to simulate it. As you know, the aim of the equation is finding the unknown. So here we should find the amount of x. The next example is the high-level equation. It is 2x to the power 6 minus 4x to the power 5 plus 0.5x uh, to the power 2 minus 0.6 equals 0. Then we have a nonlinear equation here. We have sinus and cosine. Also, we have equation with multiple um, variables. As you can see, we have three unknowns: z1, z2, and z3. We should find their amounts um, or parameters. Here are the amounts of a1 to a9 and k1 to k3. In the math operation library, we have a block algebraic uh, constraint. It is related to solving mathematical equations. As it is written, solve of fz uh, equals zero. It solves the equations which uh, one side is zero and the other side is the equation of system. As you saw in the previous slide, our first equation is x to the power 2 minus 2x plus 1. First, let me um, save this uh, project because I want to have all of four equations just in a uh, single project. I say it as equations. So first one is x to the power 2 minus 2 x plus 1. Um, I add the blocks. When it gain display for the output. Because we have x to the power 2, we use math functions uh, block 2. Because the equation is x to the power 2 minus 2x plus 1, so we have plus minus plus in the sum. The constant amount is 1. In order to generate the 2x, I transfer the signal from here to the gain input. I set its gain 2, its sign is minus, then I connect it here. Now I should just show the x to the power 2. So I get a feedback from x. In the math function block, I set the function square. Here it is. Um, I choose it. So we generate the x to the power of 2 with this block.
Um, now, if you run the system, you can see the output of this equation is 1. So here, we could solve the equation using algebraic constraints rock. Okay, thank you. Thanks for being with us. Uh, goodbye.